So many people believe that once you get monetized, then you've already made it. I want to tell you guys a secret. I understand the excitement of wanting to get monetized. I've been there. <laughs> it was such a journey to get there. But I remember this. When I first got monetized, I actually did it rather quickly. So obviously, I've had this channel for a while. But the first few years, I was just goofing around. You know, I didn't take it that seriously. It wasn't until a couple years ago I started taking it seriously. I said, well, let me try to, you know, actually do some things and uh, make content that people might want to see. And in three months, I went from about, because you have to have a certain amount of watch time hours in a certain time frame. So I started at zero because I started taking it serious. And so I went from zero watch time hours to 4,000 in about three months. And so it's not a necessarily difficult thing. If you've been doing it long enough, you kind of know where you want to go. If you have a vision of where you want to go. Now, you don't always stick to that vision when it comes to it. But I just want to say it can be an easy process now. Because all you, in a way, you just need to make videos that people want to see at the end of the day. Um, but how you incorporate that into your own personality is the more difficult part. But I want to say this. Being monetized, guys, isn't going to put you in some kind of different stratosphere. I understand when people get monetized, they feel like they've made it to the top of the world or they that goal they want to get there to get to monetize uh, make that goal of getting to monetization feel so exciting and all that. It is really, really just a way to fail. It is like getting into your favorite college and now you got to put in the work to get the degree. It's like saying, oh man, I want to be, and this is a little bit, maybe too much of an analogy, but just hear me out. It's like getting into <clears throat> it's like getting into law school. That is the opportunity to fail. Now you've got where some people haven't been, but now you got to go into this thing. And especially here on YouTube or if you're on TikTok and you getting into monetization. I don't know about other platforms, but TikTok and getting into the YouTube monetization. Now you've got to do the work. Now it's going to take time. Now you got to start building that floor. Now you start learning about RPM, click-through rates, and stuff like that. Now you got to learn that, man, if I don't get at least a 1,000 views, I'm not getting jack. You know, you know, you get paid every 1,000 views and all that kind of stuff that matters. So now you don't care about getting 100 views on a video. Let's be real. You don't care about getting 100, videos on a, uh, 100 views on a video. You don't care about getting 200 views. You care about getting at least 1,000 just to see where you are. You're trying to build a foundation now. Monetization gets you in the door. Now you got to start building on that foundation. So now you can create yourself a floor. You know, for example, I want my floor to be, hey, this is how many views I'm going to get at my floor. Okay. Every month, my floor is going to be a hundred thousand views. My, my floor, never less than that. Have you ever noticed that the channels that are bigger, that have a little bit more consistency, that their floor is never like, you're never going to see them get like 10 views. Now that does happen with bigger channels, but that's because the inconsistency gets there or for some reason they got stagnant and didn't decide to pick up or innovate or try to do something different. You have to learn and hear, hear me out, okay? The more you get monetized, and I mean, the more money you start to see, you need to continue to stay relevant. Do not get stuck in this way of thinking be, the way you got monetized is the way you will forever be able to stay on YouTube or TikTok. When it comes to, and if you're making this a business and it's, you know, the money really matters to you, the entrepreneurship, and this could be marketing for you, right? You've got to continue to innovate. You got to continue to do something different. I know everybody wants to feel like they don't want to change. And I get that feeling of being like, I just want to be true to myself. And that's all I want to do. I did that same shit, guys, for five years, even though I didn't care about the monetization at first because it just wasn't on my mind. When it, when it started to matter, I had to learn, OK, you can't just talk about certain things all the time. Sometimes you got to learn how to incorporate something and then talk about that. Take some popular opinion, take some kind of culture, take a, a celebrity, take them, talk about them, but incorporate it back to what you want to, what you really want to talk about. I think a person who does this very well, in my opinion, I like them or hate them. I don't know him personally. I'm just saying from an outside in, looking at the marketing, Candace Owens, Greg Duchette do this very well. And Anton Daniels, okay? These guys do it very well to me because what they always do <clears throat> is whatever they're talking about, they bring it back to whatever their center of beliefs are. Greg Duchette, 
It's going to bring almost everything back to fitness. <coughs> He's going to bring everything back to fitness. He's going to bring everything back to um, his beliefs about dating. He's going to bring everything back to being a man. He's going to bring things back to him even being short. And then ultimately he brings it all to his supplement company and selling his cookbooks, you know. It's the same thing that happens with Candace Owens. She does everything, but she always have her same sponsorships, always has her same brand deals. She's always going to bring it back to those people and also her beliefs in her Christianity. And then you have somebody such as Anton Daniels who's always going to bring it back to family, bring it back to money, bring it back to building up our brothers. That's what I'm saying. It, it, it all should be encompassed of what you are trying to really accomplish when you talk about these topics, okay? We can be funny. We can laugh. We can make jokes. And for me personally, I try to make sure everything I bring back is to my flaws. I also try to bring back to, hey, what are you doing with your money? Hey, you should be working on building your credit. Hey, always try to pay off things. Don't make the same mistakes I did. I try to bring everything back to that. I try not to be so harsh on people, but sometimes I'm harsh on the idea because it's like, I don't want to see you fucking fail. That is where a lot of my videos go back to. If you notice when I get passionate and I get strong about something, it's because I'm like, oh my God, I just don't want you to fucking fail, bro. I don't want you to fail. I do not care if you get out there and you succeed on these platforms. Now, I'm... Com I'm starting to get way more competitive with this shit because there should be no reason I shouldn't be ahead of some people and nothing towards those people. I don't pick out as individuals, but I do pick out people. It's like, man, their, eff their, their effort in videos shouldn't be trumping my effort. Now the algorithm may not work in my favor, may work in their favor, but in the end, in the end, because this is a long game, not a short game. In the long game, I should be pretty well off doing this platform. I, I, I do want you to get this mindset in your head if you do get monetized. Now, this is up to you completely. But for me personally, it's like I shouldn't come out of this shit not very well off, if not. And I don't want to say wealthy because that could be uh, a lot of things. So I'll just say well off, very well off. There's no reason I should leave this game that way because I need to put in the work. This could change my family's life. This could change everything for me because this, for me personally, is something I love to do, love to do. I can't, I can't help myself and put myself in front of the camera, but the, it's not just about talking. It's just, it's not just about getting in here. I'm going to have to learn different business strategies, different marketing strategies. I should take this fucking opportunity that I got while I got an able body and I've got an able mind to really push into this shit. And that means in every aspect of my life, talking about once again, from my belly to my mind, I should be able to learn to be disciplined so I can be better suited to teach people and help people. My body is also my market. All this stuff really matters at the end of the day. Even when I strive, even when I think about talking, guys, I am trying to learn to talk slower. That stuff matters because if you don't understand what I'm saying, even now you see I'm trying to talk too slow. But I'm trying to get people to understand what I'm saying in my videos. I watch my videos back and there's sometimes I, I feel like I can't understand myself because I'm talking too fast and sometimes I'm mumbling. So it takes time to go from talking in my normal voice to learning how to get my personality out, my personality out there, but also enunciate everything that I'm saying so that when people watch me, especially if they're not looking at my face, they can hear me through a podcast. And so that is stuff that all matters. And that's what I'm saying. If even, even like I said, if this isn't for you and you're wanting to take this somewhere else to your marketing business on your website or whatever, that, that may be the case for me one day. You use this platform to market yourself because I know there's people out there that think that TikTok and YouTube and Instagram and all these places are just going to either dissipate or you shouldn't market on here. And that's just dumb. Every company, all most successful people, Take the biggest platforms and market on them because they know the impact of it. That's why you see a lot of people go to Spotify. See a lot of people come to YouTube. A lot of people go to Apple. And because they know that getting their voices out there is the most important thing. Whatever their message is, they have to get through because this is where most people's ears and eyes are. It's just like me foolishly not thinking I should do shorts or not do TikTok. That is a whole market I'm missing out on because I don't think I, I think I'm above it. It's stupid thinking. So the reason I bring all this up, guys, is because 
once you get monetized, it is not a, yay, it's a celebration. Have a good time. One night. I mean, it's not, it's not that serious. You're not because you could be making <laughs> a penny a video. Let's be honest. If you've ever gone to your YouTube studio and you're monetized, you know what it feels like to go in there and see you made 13 cents on a video. Okay. So it's not about the getting the monetized part necessarily. It's the opening the door, learning the policies, learning the terms of service so you don't lose it. And also learning this is my opportunity to maybe change my family's life forever. But this is also an opportunity for me to fail. And don't you ever forget that you can fail. When you get monetized, realize you can be demonetized and you can fail and never see any kind of money. So don't stop at getting monetized and brag to your friends. It's not that serious. What you do, if you ever want to brag to your friends, brag when you get that plaque. That's when you can brag. And when I say brag, I mean, just be proud of yourself. Not necessarily brag and say you're better than anybody because a lot of people have that plaque. But you need to be like, yes, I've done something. I've worked towards it. This is something I can be proud of. Okay. So work towards those plaques, work towards it. And I promise you, when you work towards that first plaque, YouTube will get you there, okay? A lot of the times when people get around that 50,000 mark, people will push them to the stratosphere to get them to that plaque so they can feel like a part of your success. So I have, I have no problem believing that you can get to that first plaque, okay? That second plaque, gonna take a little bit of time, but you can get there too. I've got no plaques, okay? I believe in myself like I believe in you. I believe we can both get there and continue to be great. So please, getting monetized is not the end. It's the beginning. Now go make that fucking money.